So today I'm just going to do a little woodworking project, nothing crazy. Um, right here we got a nice piece of black walnut. I like black walnut a lot because it's a really beautiful chocolate heartwood and it's semi soft. It's really not that hard to work. So it makes it for really forgiving, easy woodworking projects. Um, I kind of cut this all up already into a blank for what I'm going to use it for. And today I'm going to make a kooksa. A kooksa is, I don't know where it originated from. It's just a cup with the handle. I don't know, I've made a few before and I like them. Uh, they're pretty cool, so I'm going to make one right now. Uh, so we got this black walnut piece and uh, we got the fire going. So let's pump this one out. Let's jump right into it. So bowl cup's gonna be here on this end, so I need to come in from the back end and remove all this material where the handle is gonna be. So that's not gonna be as thick because we gotta bring that down. So a couple strikes right from the back to take off all that material underneath the handle there. cut part all hollowed out and I think that's pretty good it's not too much it's not too little when you're out camping or you're on the trail you don't need a whole lot so now let's go ahead and make the hole right here for where the finger goes and I'm gonna use the same tool Okay, so this is almost done. Have the cup 
all hollowed out. We're going to stop there. Got the finger hole here. It's perfect. The only thing I'm going to do now is shorten the end of the handle. It just needs to take off about a half an inch and then I think it will be good and I'm going to reduce the thickness of it just a little bit. And then from there we're going to go straight into the sanding and then the oiling. So it's looking pretty good. It's been about an hour and a half or two hours. I think that's pretty good progress. So let's go ahead and jump into the end of the handle here. Find the center of it, and then you're going to want to twist. And you keep twisting, and you twist, and it kind of wants to loop up like that. Whenever it does that, you pinch it right there. Pinch it, boom, just like that. Pinch it, twist. And then you have these two pieces, and you're pinched in, so you're going to twist away from you, and then bring it in towards you. Grab the one behind it. Twist away from you, bring it in towards you. And you repeat that process all the way till the end. And this goes both of them just like that. Okay. This looks great. I've made about three of these. This is by far the best one I've ever made. Nice flat spot right there. So if you're at the table or bedside, it's gonna sit nice and flat. I'm glad I took my time on this one. It's been probably total about five hours, I don't know. But it's going to someone special to me, close friend, so uh, so I'm glad this one came out really nice. What you want to do, and the right way to tie this off, is take both of them, just like this, and just do a simple square knot. Leather for cordage is really grippy, so it's not going to come undone. And we want to get that knot back as far as we can so you, there's a good amount of space here. There you go. So here's the Kuxa all finished. Uh, this thing's really sweet. Black walnut, finger there, lanyard so you can hook this on your backpack. You got a carabiner, just hook it right through there. Perfect. Finished Kuxa.